After more than a decade of investigating, one of Northeast Ohio's biggest mysteries is solved. At least one piece of it. We now know the name of this man who for 25 years went by the stolen identity of a young boy killed in 1945. The man who called himself Joseph Newton Chandler III is actually Robert Ivan Nichols, a World War II veteran and Purple Heart recipient. News 5's Homa Bash is here to explain how they cracked this case. It took genetics, DNA, and about 1,500 hours of research to figure out who that mystery man really was. But still, investigators don't know why he did this. What was he running for? Who was he hiding from? The mystery started unraveling in 2002, when this man was found dead in his Eastlake apartment. His decomposing body discovered a week after he committed suicide. With no note, with no nothing, closed all the doors, locked all the doors, turned off the air conditioning. And again, what I said before, he never wanted to be found in his lifetime, even into his death. In his bank account, the man known as Joseph Newton Chandler III left behind more than $80,000. But when investigators were searching for his heirs, they discovered that man was not who he said he was. Joseph Newton Chandler III was actually an eight-year-old boy from Tulsa, Oklahoma. He had died in a car crash in 1945. In 1978, the child's personal information was used to get a social security card by this man, who U.S. Marshals revealed today is actually Robert Ivan Nichols. Nichols served in the Navy in World War II, even receiving a Purple Heart after his ship was bombed by the Japanese. But in 1964, Nichols left his wife and three sons in Kentucky and disappeared. It would be the last time his family ever heard from him. His son, Philip Nichols, just recently learning where his father had been all these years. Why do you think he disappeared? Why do you think he disappeared? I'd really rather not speculate. However, if I had to come up with an answer, I, th I think it would be called child support. Because uh, he left us in a lurch, uh, no money in the bank an old beat up car and uh, three kids at home still in school and this vanished. We know Nichols lived and worked in the Cleveland area since 1978, spending time in California and Michigan before that. Those who knew him described him as highly intelligent, quiet and eccentric. He had a suitcase packed and ready to go in his apartment at all times. Now what he was running for, if he was running for from anything, at this point I just don't know. The marshals say that only part of this mystery is solved. They need the public's help now to piece together the rest. They're hoping someone he crossed paths with can help answer why he disappeared in the first place. As for the long rumored theory that he could be the Zodiac killer, U.S. Marshals told us at this point they can't say that he was and they can't say that he wasn't. Homa Bash, News 5.